Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back and you should be a witness to over 100 videos <laughs> that I made so far on Shopify customization because they were mostly requested by you guys, I mean subscribers and some people not even subscribers but I still do make the videos for them. Yes, I do, even though I know they are not subscribers, that's fine. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to know how to do anything yourself without having to hire a developer, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell, I don't sell any courses, never will, I don't have any paid memberships on the channel, everything I do create, I posted completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case for most of the videos on YouTube, right? including the ones, the entertainment ones you like to watch. I, I provide some value here, right? I try to provide some value here, not entertainment. I, I do have some jokes every now and then, but I don't consider my jokes that good. Anyway, in this video, I will show you which is a request again. This was requested by a subscriber. Yes, I know he is a subscriber. So in this video, I will show you how to change the hyperlink for the view all button on the future collection on the home page and I will show you how to change the link for it to any link you want whatever it's contact us page whatever if it's outside link whatever the case is any page to a specific page I will show you how to change the link for it to any specific page you want and without any more talking let's just get to it as you can see this is the Shopify dashboard in here and I have down team which is the one I do demonstrations on and most of the videos I do demonstration on down team but if I sc scroll down in here, I have every other free themes, the most used ones, which is Refresh, Spotlight, test, Taste, Sense, and Trade. And if you are wondering why it's that, because I do actually try the tricks. Each trick I do try, I do share on my channel, I do try it behind the scenes on all of these themes. So even if you're not using down team, you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment, I will be happy to help you out. But I'm sure it will. I don't do that in the videos, so I don't bore people because it's gonna be a long video. I do demonstration just to down team. And I just have to say this in the beginning so I give you a peace of mind because you know, uh, you're gonna see me doing it on down team. You might be thinking, well, maybe it's not working for the others. It is, no worries. And even if it didn't, as I said, just drop me a comment. So without the way, let's just get to it and show you how to change the hyperlink for the view all button to any specific page on the home page, I mean, sorry, any specific page on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks. So everything I do share on my channel, I do demonstration on the Shopify store in here. So everything, literally everything you see on the Shopify store, if you uh, saw it and you think it looks good, you want to implement it in your Shopify store, check out the channel. I would be already made that video. Once you see it on Shopify store, that means I already made it in some tutorial. So make sure to subscribe, make sure to subscribe. So what I'm talking about is this one right here, view all button, as you can see. So if I click on it, it's gonna show me the, the all collection, which is, combines all the products I have. So what if I want to set it to a different page or different product page or different specific collection anywhere I want? This is exactly what I'm about to show you in this video. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. Obviously, get back to Shopify dashboard. After that, click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. After that, use the search. We need to find the specific file instead of looking here. Simply use the search bar at the top left corner and type in futured collection. Just like you see, you're gonna see a file called futured collection.liquid. This one right here. Simply click on it, bunch of code will show up. No worries, we need to find a specific code in here and to find that code because I, you might be thinking well just tell, tell us the number the line number uh, no it's different for each team so simply click on the code just like you want to type in something don't type anything then use the keys on the on the keyboard and uh, if you are windows click on Control f i'm on mac i'm going to click on command f and it will show me this prompt right here at the bottom of the screen so in here we need as i said to find a specific uh, section and this little thing will find will help us do so so uh, in here we're just pasting the thing we're gonna find which is this one right here and you might be thinking how the hell we're we gonna copy this to paste it as always description box simply sc scroll down description box and you will see 
uh, code to copy i repeat code to copy copy it get back paste it in here hit enter on your keyboard and it's gonna be highlighted on the code as you can see so this is the section we need to find and we did find it as you can see so simply let's just close this so let me zoom in on it so as you can see it says href and there is this little code between the, the, the quotes. As you can see, the red quotes in here, there is this thing between them. Now what you need to do is get back to Shopify store, then figure out where you want to link this button. So once it, uh, the customer clicks on it, where you want them to be taken, collection page, product page, anything. So in my case, I'm going to do demonstration for contact us page. So let's just say I want to send them in here. And to do so, simply uh, so, uh, copy the handle, the handle for the contact us page. And the handle is this one, uh, the things after .com in your Shopify store, right click and copy. And I think I missed the forward slash, I'm gonna type it, no worries. So now, once you copy the handle for the page, select the, the whole thing between the quotes and make sure do not remove the quotes, just the whole thing between the quotes remove it now it's empty just the quotes and between the quotes paste in the handle just paste in oh i need a forward slash as you can see it doesn't have forward slash be uh, before pages i need forward slash so make sure if you if it is correction it's going to be forward slash collection and the name for the collection so make sure and it starts with forward slash now we go to go simply click on the save button we will wait a couple of seconds okay it's saved it. we will get back in here let's just access the home page Let's just scroll down and this is the view all let's just click on it boom to the contact us page as you can see and that's how you change the hyperlink on the view all button to any specific page you want on your shopify store but using a very tricky code as you can see not even a code you just have to play around with the code in order to do so and if you have any questions make sure to drop them below but for now i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one